The original DSPA is a remarkable feat of engineering and chemistry. Seen here in an open demonstration of its basic characteristics, the ignition squib activates, releasing heat into the body of the unit to begin the chemical breakdown of the potassium bicarbonate into a potassium aerosol. As the internal pressure rises, the aerosol will vent through the circumference of the unit body into the atmosphere. As the non-toxic aerosol is released, the potassium ions in the aerosol actively seek energy in the form of heat and bond to reduce temperatures by as much as 700 degrees Fahrenheit. As the ions interact, the thermal layer surrounding the unit will change as the heat is temporarily driven to the floor to bond with potassium being released. During this process, hydroxyl ions combine molecularly with the fuel of the fire to prevent further combustion and the fire is suppressed. Unlike other fire suppression devices, the DSPA does not affect oxygen levels, making it a perfect tool to use in occupied structures or as a first response for rescue and fire teams. Since the agent is an aerosol, it is safe for use in areas with sensitive electronics, equipment, machinery, and personnel. As the aerosol completes its cycle, it will vent the structure, leaving behind minimal, non-hazardous residue which can be vacuumed or swept up and disposed of without any special precautions.